Hi, my name is Robin, and I'm a consultant at the Information Lab in the UK. And I'm going to take you through the new predictive modeling functions that are being released in 2020.3 by Tableau. Let's get stuck into it. The first function is called model quantile. And it's a table calculation that can return a target value at a specified percentile based on some other predictive measures. And this function is the posterior predictive quantile. So the calculation will return a numeric value with the probable range defined by the target expression and its predictors. So let's show you how this works in practice. I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to call this median sales prediction adjusted for quantity. So we're going to start by writing model quantile. And the first thing that we're going to give is the quantile character. And the quantile is going to be 0 0.5, so the median. The target expression that we want to predict is the sum of sales. And we want it to be predicted of the sum of quantity. And we're going to hit OK. If we then start building out the view, let's bring in region onto our columns and our median sales prediction onto rows, we can now see the 50 percentile prediction for sales based on the quantity. Now, if we compare this to the sales values that we already have in our data source, we can see how close this gets. So that's great. But what if we want to provide this view with a confidence interval? So we have the 95 percentile as well as the 5th percentile. We can create two calculations for this. We can then bring into our view. And first, I'm going to create the lower bound. For this, we're going to call the same function we had before, so model quantile. But this time, it's going to be 0 0.05. Again, the sum of sales predicted of the sum of quantity. I'm going to copy this over to also create the upper bound. And for the upper bound, I'm going to change the 0 0.05 to 0 0.95. We can then bring these two into detail for our median sales prediction, which allows us to bring in a reference band. And in this reference band, we can say from the lower to the upper bound. And let's remove the shading. We just add some lines and I'll show you the labels as the computation. We can now see the confidence intervals around that median sales prediction. And if we want to add the dual axis to this, we can then clearly see how close these values are to one another and what the confidence intervals are as well. The second modeling function is called model percentile. And this is a table calculation that returns the probability of an expected value on the screen being less than or equal to the observed mark, which again is defined by our target expression. And then it's based on some of other predictors that the user can then input. So this is a posterior predictive distribution function, also known as a cumulative density function or CDF. And this calculation will return a value between zero and one which is then again also the inverse of the model quantile function. But let's show you how to use it. I'm going to create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this model percentile quantity at a region level. We can start by writing model percentile. And this time we just give a target expression, which is quantity at a region level. Okay. We can now bring in our region into our view. I'll put it onto rows this time. And I'll first bring in the sum of quantity. So we now see the total quantity for each region. If we drag in the model percentile, we can see the probability of that observed sum of quantity being less than or equal to the value that we see. So about 86% chance of this value being 12,256 or below, as well as smaller values below there. 
Now this function also allows us to drill down to a lower level of granularity onto our view and then sort it to drill down even further into the percentage probability. We change the default properties to percentage, becomes a little bit more clear. Just as a note, when you're creating predictors, you have to make sure that the predictors are being adjusted at a equal or higher level of granularity than you have in your view. So in this case, we created our predictors on a region level. So we can bring in our state level or go below, but we cannot remove region and go to a country level. For more information on this feature, you can check the Tableau release page linked in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and check out some of our other content on the Information Lab channel. Thanks.